That's the worst advice. I'm the only one that has to ever do it and play in that game. What I'm saying is, I don't know how you you gonna say catch it with your body and not your hands. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Charge the. (laughs) I can't even get it out, (laughs) y'all. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Charge the Game. I'll be your host here, Chuck, and today, man, we got some stuff to talk about as Undisputed has launched the first episode, and I got some mixed feelings, emotions about this shit here. But before we continue to watch this launch of this new show, I want to ask you guys to do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button to the bottom right of your screen and also hit the notification bell so, so that you guys can keep up with the videos I drop because I drop multiple videos a day. Like always, thank you guys so much. Back to the video. So... Skip Bayless, y'all, launched his first episode of Undisputed. Few things. I don't know, y'all. Maybe it's the first episode, but I ain't really feeling it like that. You know, but it's first day jitters, right? You know, just like if you was going to a new school, you got transferred, and maybe you got to go to class, and everybody got to pretty much get to know you and see who you are. But they got a major problem on this show. I could tell that the management has talked to Skip Bayless and I want you guys to I want you guys to pay attention to Skip Bayless in this snippet that I just played. The 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 one problem with this uh show is Michael Irvin is a <laughs> this dude is a ball hog, bro. This man will not let you talk and he was not like that on Sports Center or uh ESPN. So, I noticed a few things here. Skip Bayless took a back seat, y'all. And I think that what Skip Bayless did with his first episode was pretty much allow the panel to get a feel of what it's gonna be like for the next few weeks being on this rotation. Um, But this guy, Michael Irvin, man, I don't know if this guy uh, is hitting that line or, you know, maybe he's, you know, uh, maybe he got him a a, a local White House out there because you know that's what they call the uh, cocaine house here in Dallas back in the day. But I don't know if he hitting that line before he go on set, but Michael Irvin be all over the place. He cannot sit still. And it makes me look at this guy sideways like, bro, calm down. Now, I want you guys to look at this. Look at Skip Bayless putting his hands up, looking in the camera, pretty much trying to like signal like, hey, hey, cut it or, or please sit down. I want you guys to look at this. Look at Skip Bayless' face now. Watch this. How you gonna tell me that's the worst advice? I'm not gonna... See that? You see that? Keep going now. That's the do it and that what I'm saying. <laughs> he doesn't know why Michael Irvin is getting up. Skip Bayless is not used to that. Skip Bayless is more of a composed guy. When even when he loses it, Skip Bayless knows how to stay in his seat. Now, Keyshawn's getting a kick out of this. Richard Jer- <laughs> Richard Sherman is obviously in in battle in a heated debate with Michael Irvin, but I think that they gotta brush this shit up, man, because this dude here is a loose cannon and he's all over the place for the right and wrong reasons i don't know if he's just overjoyed to be back on tv but oh my gosh this man got some testosterone out this world i don't know uh what that cocaine doing to my boy but damn dog this man was hogging the whole set when i tell you skip bayless probably talked three or four times and this was a 30 minute segment look at this this was a 30 minute segment skip bayless barely got to talk this man here was hot bro past the blunt <laughs> like this man was all over the place and look at skip bayless face this says it all this is unrehearsed or maybe i'm gonna tell you what i think happened i think that the same like the same thing with football right all week you go through the progressions i want you gonna do but on game day people just lose their mind and forget everything i think that's what happened with uh mr michael Irvin. and another thing michael Irvin, stop wearing all that damn makeup man you be looking crazy but let's continue to watch this little bit, this little segment of what Skip Bayless is capturing. <laughs> Yo, boy, I don't know how you- He's saying no. So I'm saying catch it with your body and, and not your hands. Sports. And let no championships on every level. What I'm talking about doing, I want championships on every level doing. I don't know how. And that's where he's messing up. You cannot be bigger than Skip Bayless on the show, Michael Irvin. I know that you're excited. I know that you and Skip rep the Cowboys proudly, but I think that I think that management has convinced Skip Bayless to make everybody feel like they can actually speak up because obviously uh, Shannon Sharp was quoted saying, you know, he didn't feel like he could talk about topics or he had to be shut out. But it seems like Skip Bayless is trying to be the new hip coach, right? It's just like if Bill Belichick or Nick Saban was told to take a chill pill and 
try to do things in a youthful way. It just, it is what it is. Skip Bayless is who he is, if they're ever going to be that way. I don't think that this is organic for Skip Bayless to shut up and take a back seat on his own show. I think that obviously it's the first day and a damn show got a lot to work on. Richard Sherman does not give proper eye contact to me. He always is looking down. And uh, I can, you know, try to find some snippets. Let's just look at this. I can find some snippets where he's, uh, when he talks, he doesn't give a lot of eye contact. He's, he seems unsure. Let's see. Hey, I'm cool being a backup. Let me keep being a backup. Nobody see? in the NFL feels like that. Rain. It's a limit. Hey, it's going to limit him. See? You got yeah, it's just a whole bunch of iffiness going on right here. But surprisingly, I'm not a Keyshawn Johnson fan, but I believe that he did the best. I think that he has the most uh, composure uh, besides Skip Bayless, but also this guy is fresh off of ESPN, so he was used to the progressions of doing a morning show, uh, dressing up, you know, being sharp, being on cue with his takes, his debates, his notes. He actually does fit this show quite well, and I know that I made a video earlier about it, but I think that Keyshawn Johnson does fit this show a little bit better to me. Uh, but like I said, they got a problem with Mr. Uh, cocaine Cowboy right here because this dude be all over the place. It makes no sense for you to stand up and act like a complete James Brown fool on the set any chance you get. And it, that's buffoonery to me. That's stuff that you don't have to do. And I want y'all to watch this snippet one more time. Look at this. Uh -oh. Look at Skip. Look at Skip. I can't tell if he's trying to say cut it or you know like maybe Michael Irvin can see him through the through the uh, front camera and he's just like hey please please don't calm down you gotta let Skip Bayless ease into y'all too because he was very comfortable with Shannon Sharp Shannon Sharp just had pretty much what all three of these guys have personality right they pretty much split Shannon Sharp up in three people personality knowledge of the football game and able to relate to both games right that's what shannon sharp did as one person so it took three guys to pretty much fill in for shannon sharp that goes to show his value i'm just being honest so i'm curious to see how first take is going to look i believe that they're going to probably be a little more buttoned up just because of the way they run things over there at fox and it's more so like stephen a is open to hearing things versus skip bayless skip bayless was forced to shit to shut up and sit back today uh, but yeah, Michael Irvin, you can't be bigger than Skip Bayless on the show. That's just, that's where I believe you and him are going to have huge problems. But I, but I think that, you know, they just coming on two days a week. But uh, yeah, they definitely got to get some restructure and, and, you know, balance on this show because everybody over talking to everybody, I didn't like that. I, I respect like a show turn, my turn. Make it look more smooth looking, right? Make it look awesome. You don't want it to look like barbershop talk. You know what I mean? You want it to make it look like professional talk but a little bit of barbershop talk mixed in if you know what i mean but other than that i think that the show is going to pretty much do good they might have to do some reorg organizing around here but uh yeah i wasn't really feeling it as much i would give it a, a, a today i would give it a c plus let's see how the rest of the show is going to look the rest of the week but you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think do you guys think that this was a home run do you think they got it right do you think that you know or do you agree with me you know do you agree that it was a little cringe you know if, if, that, if that's a word i can use let me know in the comment section like always like share subscribe to the youtube channel let me know how you charge the game peace